Hi, I'm Stu Helgeson, president of Valley Forge Military Academy and College, and I wanted to come to you with a December update on this cold, crisp, beautiful day here in Wayne, Pennsylvania. I'm standing here on our new football field and, and track and wanted to give a update on the stadium that's being built behind me. You can see that the press box has gone up, the stands are going in, the coaches' boxes are up. It will be a 1,200 seat stadium, complete with a new visitor's stands and a brand new scoreboard. We're really excited about this facility. It's gonna be great for Valley Forge, Eastern University, who we partnered with, and for the local community as we continue to upgrade the facilities here at the Forge. Well, the holiday season's upon us and the cadets and staff are really looking forward to the holiday break. Before they go, I wanna give some updates on all the things that the cadets have been doing in the last month. I tell you, these cadets do more in two weeks than most kids do in two to three months. We had a band concert two weeks ago with the 78th Army Field Band in conjunction with the Valley Forge Band, put on a wonderful Christmas concert and holiday concert for everybody here at the Forge. It's a great partnership we've had for over three years with the 78th Army Band, and we look to continue that in the future. Community service has been underway for both schools, but I'll highlight the academy going to the Radnor Historical Society, handing out food at a food bank, and then also serving lunch at the Wayne Senior Center. Great time for our cadets to get out and interact with the public, but more importantly, the public to see what great cadets we have here at Valley Forge. In the competitive front, the academy's basketball team has started its season Coach Aaron Barkley, first year head coach, had his first win this week. It's a young team, they're scrapping, they're out there fighting every day, and it is awesome to watch them start gelling as they come together. Only three games into the season, but already starting to gel. The swim team, led by Tim Oskin, had their first swim meet. It was a tri meet and we took second. Great job by our cadets who are in there competing in the pool and as Tim is very, very encouraged by the commitment and the talent we have on this year's swim team. Teacher Harry Sokol leads our high Q program and we hosted a high Q competition with three other schools and Valley Forge came in second. It was awesome that their point total in this one competition was the most they've scored in two years. It was very close. They're continuing to get better and Coach Sokol is very proud of the cadets and how they represented the school. And on some other extracurricular activities, I want to update the, our rifle club, which is always one of the most popular, just had a field trip out to a range where they got to test all the skills that they were taught by Chris Bechtel. Great day on the range, great opportunity for the cadets to live fire and display not only their marksmanship skills, but obviously the safety rules and regulations that are honed into them through the rifle club. And our e-battery just started a project of tearing down an engine, a full day of activity for them as they're going to tear down an old engine and then put it back together. The cadets were up to their elbows in it and had a lot of fun. Stanford University's Hoover Institution partnered with Valley Forge to host a post 9-11 veteran town hall. It was an awesome opportunity for Valley Forge to be showcased with a great institution as we hosted Lieutenant General McMaster, Representative Christy Houlihan, and three Stanford Fellows as they conducted a town hall for the general public. Outstanding opportunity for us to show off the campus, the cadets, our core, and our values. Prior to it, we were able to host General McMaster on campus. He was able to talk to the cadets in a chapel service and then be the Grand Marshal of a parade. The cadets performed outstandingly. I couldn't have been more proud of the cadets, the staff, and everyone. And Stanford, the Hoover Institution, was very, very grateful for Valley Forge's ability to host this program. Other exciting college news is we just signed an articulation agreement with West Virginia University. That brings us to 30 schools that we have uh, articulation agreements for our college cadets. And we are in talks with two others. 
that we hope to have signed and done by January. So a lot of exciting stuff for our college, our college staff led by the provost, Dr. Bob Smith and his team have just continued to look for ways to build that program to make us the best military junior college in the nation. And also I wanna do a little bit bragging about our college and our ECP department, most notably our Ranger Challenge team. They went out to Fort Knox and competed in the annual Ranger Challenge. And uh, for the second year in a row, Valley Forge won the military junior college category as the best team. I'm so proud of those cadets, the staff that coached them, Captain Schrantz from the ROTC department, everybody who put in the time and the effort. These cadets were up early, they were working on their own time, they came together as a team and they brought back another victory and I'm so proud of them. And in other ROTC news, the uh, ROTC department held its dining in on the eve of the Army-Navy game. Great opportunity for the cadets to come together experience of dining in, the history and tradition, the army traditions of a dining in. I was so honored to be invited. Really a great time for these cadets to learn about the history, tradition, and fellowship of being a future officer. Well done by all. I look forward to the spring dining out. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't give an update from our Giving Tuesday campaign that was at the end of November. I wanna say uh, how proud I am of everyone out there uh, everyone here on the staff, everyone who put together the cadets, everybody who came together on Giving Tuesday. We had a goal of $75,000. You guys crushed it. We raised $89,000. Outstanding job by all. Redoing the swimming pool and redoing the flagpole are the projects that we now have the funds to do and we have some more to put into other projects here and we'll come with some updates and, and hopefully in the next video show you the progress that's taken place on those projects. And being that it is the holiday season and giving thanks, I am so thankful for everyone here who supports the Forge, supports the cadets, supports the staff. We couldn't do it without you, but also you, as does everyone here, believes that the military model, the Valley Forge education is worth supporting as we continue to grow the future of this nation. Until the new year, I want to wish everyone a safe, happy, joyous holiday season and can't wait to be coming to you in 2024 with further updates. Happy holidays.